guys, it's Madeline. Thank you so much for being here to watch this video. I'm so excited for what I'm filming today. I really wanted to film this video for quite some time and now here it is. So I wanna show you guys how I do my everyday work makeup, just my makeup in general outside of YouTube and filming tutorials. This is my go-to super easy look. It's great for beginners if you aren't really sure what the heck you're doing with makeup. I think you will also really benefit from this video because it's just simple. Also, a little update on my Your skincare journey I am still purging my mom hates that word every time I say it in my videos I'm sorry mom but I am at the end of week six of using these products so I was hoping that my purging would be done by now but it understandably isn't because I have bad skin you guys I have been struggling with acne oily clogged pores since I was 13 so there is a decade worth of skin issues going on here. It makes sense that these products wouldn't work overnight for me, but I just have a very good feeling about them still. I do not want to give up on them. So hopefully I'm going to see where the next two weeks bring. If I'm still having issues, then I'm going to reach out to the brand and be like, <laughs> help. I mean, you guys can see where all these little red dots are. Those are pimples. And honestly, like I know it's bad, but popping them has been actually speeding up the process because it's like, okay, get that gunk out. Like, let's get this ball rolling. <laughs> so I just kind of wanted to let you guys know what's going on with that. I would like to film a full on two month check in, but that's coming up pretty fast. <laughs> we'll see. I really do have faith in this, but my wedding is less than four months away. So, <sighs> I'm just gonna keep my faith in it. Like I've come this far with it, why give up now, you know? And yeah, okay, anyways. So I do already have my Your Daily Moisturizer on my face. And then also my Canon Austin Mattifying Primer because that also has really amazing skincare benefits that help calm my skin when it's irritated. It really helps with the redness, I love it. They need to restack that primer on their website. I'm starting to get nervous because I run out of that primer and I don't have it on my wedding day. We're just gonna have to cancel the whole wedding. No, I'm just kidding. But with that already being on my face, I am then going in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, and this is in the shade 2 and 2 Buff. So I just start by dotting this on my face. This is the most amazing foundation, and I will also be wearing this on our wedding day because it just doesn't budge. This is the best foundation for helping my oily skin. And also, when I wear this at work, it barely moves compared to other foundations when I'm wearing a mask. So I usually just start with one part of my face at a time. I'm just going in with this sponge that I got at TJ Maxx. So really makeup is just as personal of a journey as skincare. You have to figure out what works best for you. You have to find what kind of a skin type you have, if you're dry, oily, combination, you know, somewhere in between. Um, and then you just have to find the right skincare products, primer, and makeup that works for your skin type. Where did you get that light from? That? Yeah. I got it on Amazon. How much was that? Um, maybe like 30 bucks. Wow, it's really meant for your camera too. Yeah. That's so cool. You're so cute. It's at 73%. Yeah, it's super neat. It just goes right on top. Can you adjust the brightness? Yeah, and you can make the light more yellow or blue toned or That's right in between. That's so cool. It's so nice. I... It makes total sense too that I am mainly breaking out during this detox phase on my forehead because that is where my pores are the most congested. This foundation is very buildable. As you can tell, I'm going in with about a pound worth of foundation on my forehead. So now for concealer, one of my most favorite ones and what makes it really quick before work is this ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Just makes it really quick to apply because of the wand. You can just slap it on your face, blend it out, and you're good to go. I'm using the shade Light 12. I thought this was Light 14. So I just like to put this where I am concealing extra darkness and just want to brighten up my face. And I also use it to just highlight down the bridge of my nose. Just taking the sponge again. So now I am further blending out areas that kind of easily crease up or they don't get blended good enough with a sponge. So I go in with my Sigma FO3 brush and I just kind of go around my eyes and then around my nostrils too. I really just do this because I'm picky. Now I'm going in with my usual Too Faced Peach Perfect mattifying powder. I'm just going to do an even layer of this all over my face.
All right, now I'm going in with the Natasha Denona Contour Sculpting Powder, and mine is in the shade Medium O2. So for contouring my nose, the best tip I learned from here on YouTube is to use your finger. It is so much more natural than using like an overly precise brush. I just don't have like that cute little nose where you can just apply your nose contour with anything, and it turns out amazing no matter what. I've really had to play around with what works best for my nose shape, and this is it. Kind of trace along the natural shape of my nose. So I have a ton on my nose, but we're going to blend that out in a little bit. For my cheekbone contour, I have been love, love, loving this Marc Jacobs brush. This is the blush brush. I would not use this for blush because it's not very, like, it's too precise for blush. So just going in a little bit more. Just putting that right below my cheekbone. I'm just going to further blend out that nose contour. Blending out a little bit more with my sponge because I don't want it to be harsh. There we go. For bronzer, I'm going in with my NARS Laguna. I got this on sale for about half off at TJ Maxx. I just go along my forehead and just adding some warmth to my cheeks. The so bronzer is just all about warming up the face where contouring is just defining the face. I should note too, I'm using a lot of high-end makeup products, but these are just what I have. They work really good for my skin. You guys can seriously just use whatever works best for your skin. Do not feel like you have to run to the store right now and buy what I'm using. I feel like it can be really easy to get sucked into that and be like, oh, this YouTuber is using that. I need that exact product. I mean, if you want to treat yourself, go for it. But don't feel like you have to go get something just because someone you see on YouTube is using it. For blush, finally something drugstore. I'm using the Milani Romantic Rose. This is such a beautiful neutral pink tone. So I do not put this on the apples of my cheeks. Like, so you just go like right on the side of your cheekbone. Then it just looks more blended out instead of just in one little area of your face. And it can actually help make your face look more contoured too. There we go. Okay, so now for highlighter. I have been obsessed all over again with the Jaclyn Flash Palette. I really wished that this was not limited edition, but I'm gonna mix these two shades, Gleam and Iced. These are just so smoothing. I especially love this highlighter for highlighting the bridge of my nose. There is something about the consistency of this product where it like it actually helps my nose look nice and tiny. I swear these are magic highlighters and I hope that she brings them back somehow, some way. So I'm just using the shade Gleam and this is the Morphe M213 brush. Sorry you guys, I gotta like turn where the natural light is. So first I just do a little dot and then I'm gonna do a little line on the bridge of my nose. Then I just kind of blend it out a little bit more too. Blending, blending, blending. Lots of blending is needed. <laughs> so now for eyebrows, if you guys are kind of new to doing your eyebrows or if you're looking for a really good affordable eyebrow pencil, this ColourPop Brow Boss is it, you guys. It is so good. It applies so smooth instead of like hard and waxy. And mine is in the shade Dark Brown. So just gonna zoom you guys in a bit. So I first start by always brushing my eyebrow upwards. And then I start by just drawing a line underneath my brow, just with nice little natural strokes. There we go, and then I blend that upwards. And now I kind of focus on the tail end of my eyebrow. So I kind of start at the top and fill it in. And then I kind of just work with the top part of my eyebrow up here. All right, now I'm just going to blend all of that out. All right, the brows are done. So for eyeshadow, this is such an easy step, you guys. It's such an easy trick. I don't even remember who on YouTube I learned this from, but bronzer, that's it. That is all we are using for eyeshadow. It is the most easiest trick ever because it just defines the eye, it adds some color without being too much. So it's just perfect for the workplace or if you just want a quick makeup look. And this also really helps you use up the products that you already have laying around. Like I usually just go in with my Tarte Park Ave Princess bronzer. This is what I have left of it. So I have just been kind of using this up. 
up. So I like to go in with a big fluffy blending brush just to get the job done really fast. This one is from Sonia Kashuk. It's not numbered or named or anything, but I'm just gonna take a decent amount here, tap off the excess, and I'm just putting this on the outer part of my eye and in my crease. And then I also blend it underneath my eye, just the first half of my under eye. So see, you can already notice that difference. I like to go in with just a little bit more. Other eye really quick. So see how that just adds the perfect tone? Once I picked up this trick, I haven't stopped. So now I am just going in and highlighting the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone. And if you go a little overkill with this, just blend it out with your finger like I am. Now the absolute best setting spray that I can recommend is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Just the original one, they've come out with a few different ones now, but this does not irritate my acne prone skin and it actually makes a difference. This is the first setting spray that I have ever noticed. The longevity of my makeup improved and it just makes your makeup look more like skin without add into your oils or anything. So I just kind of cover up my roots the best I can. And I just like to spray a nice even layer and then I use my hand to kind of fan that on. And then it just kind of melts in, makes it look less powdery. It just is a beautiful finishing spray and it's affordable. So the next and last step for the eyes, I don't like to do eyeliner unless if you want to kind of amp it up a little bit, use a dark brown eyeshadow with like a flat top brush and just do a little wing on the outer part of your eye, not all the way through, but that is so beautiful and effortless too. But for work, I like to just go in with mascara and that is the Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara lately. This is so good, you guys. I did include it in my current favorites video, which I will have linked at the end of this video on the screen and then also in the description box if you're interested. Also, the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara is super good if you don't want to splurge on a mascara. So I am just gonna go in, apply this very carefully. Try to not smudge it all over my lips. There is just one coat. Just gonna do my other eye real quick. So then I do like to do a second coat. So there are two coats. I'm gonna go in with my lash comb. This is the JCAT Beauty lash comb that I have been obsessed with. Perfect for declumping. So now we're just gonna do a little something for the lips and then we are all done. Since I'm literally wearing a mask all day at work, I have just been sticking to a matte lip and it kind of holds on a little bit longer. And I just love to have a nude lip. Like obviously I just do it for myself if all I do is wear a mask all day. So I love to first prep my lips with a good lip balm and I have been so obsessed with this one lately, you guys. This is by the brand Beekman 1802. And this is called Snow Forest. It smells so good. So it just comes in this little cardboard package and I like to leave it in there because it's super cute. But here is the lip balm itself. So I just kind of like pop it out and I use it like that. And you can kind of tell it's a nice thick lip balm. I don't like it when they're too slippery. I feel like they don't really do much. Oh, it just smells so good. Like you guys need to get this before winter ends. <laughs> and their deodorant, you guys, best naturally powered deodorant I have ever used, hands down. Like, and I am a stinky, sweaty, oily mess, so <laughs> definitely take my advice on their deodorant. It's the only natural deodorant that's actually worked for me. So for lip liner, my current all-time favorite for the last few months has been this ColourPop lip liner in the shade Cool BFF. This is probably so germy. Do I really wanna show you guys? <laughs> uh, here it is. It's just a perfect, cool-toned, neutral shade. And if you want your lips to stand out and look more plump and voluptuous, use a lip liner that is darker than your natural lip color. So when I overline my lips, I mainly do it on the top right here. I don't overline all the way down just because then that gives you more of that kind of like Bratz doll look, you know? So when you stick to just mainly overlining right up in this area and not your entire upper lip, it really just gives that pouty look and makes them look more naturally done, if that makes sense. Like it basically makes you look like you get lip fillers when you don't. I've had actually kind of a good amount of people ask me if I get lip fillers and I'm like, 
That's actually it's a pretty good compliment because I don't, so thank you. <laughs> so as you can tell, I just went a little bit above there, and now I just drag it down. So I do overline right in that same area, just more so in the middle, and then just like drag it out where my natural lip is. So the lining is done. Now for the rest of my lip color, this is definitely, germs are crawling on it too. Um, but this is the Dose of Colors Matte Liquid Lip in the shade Sands. This is a perfect nude, um, except for when my self tan is really, really faded and basically nothing and I'm really pale. I would prefer the Charlotte Tilbury KKW lipstick. It has more of that pinky undertone versus a peachy. Like my skin tone is already light, but when it's really light, that is the perfect color. But this is a good shade for where my skin tone is at right now. So I'm just gonna do a light layer of this. So this is normally where I stop doing my makeup and I head off to work. My hair never looks like this for work, first of all. It's usually just in a high ponytail. Since I'm off today and I'm filming and I don't have to wear a mask all day, I'm gonna throw on some lip gloss. So I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Madison Beer collaboration. This is her Mercury lip gloss. This is a beautiful neutral nude. Here we go. Got some more life on the lips now. All right, you guys, so that concludes this easy work makeup tutorial. I hope that you found it helpful. I hope that I somewhat explained things better than what I usually do. Let me know in the comments if you actually did pick up any really helpful tips from this video. I would love to know. Otherwise, thank you guys so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up for me and hit that little subscribe button down below to help my channel grow. And I will see you all in my next video, which I believe will be me reviewing the products that I purchased from the new KKW Beauty launch from Matte Mauve and Matte Honey collection. I didn't get everything in the collection because that's just not necessary for me. I'm not a makeup artist. I only do makeup on myself. I have not been this excited for a launch in a long time. So I did pick up quite a few things and I kind of want to make a little video reviewing what I bought. So that will probably be up next, but just subscribe if you are interested in watching. Otherwise, thank you guys again and I will see you all next time. Bye!